Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about global lab update for 8 July 2021 update. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, this is official website from global lab update at 8 July 2021 update. First update about class balancing. They just fix some issue for movement when your character activate sprint after pressing tab key and moving forward from your combat stance for specific class, especially for sorcerers, dark knight, striker, mystic, lan, archer, sai, guardian, and assassin. As you can see, this is sample for new guardian after this update. This movement have more smooth than previously that still apply on live server. And also some fix for Ranger, Ninja, and Kunoichi. Actually, this is not a nerf. This is just fix for description for this skill effect. And also special for Psy class. They just fix some issue when Psy class stops sprinting after your character enter combat stance. And also for Psy costume. As you can see, recently for Psy character, if she rise one of her leg, any outfit that Psy equip will show her knee will pressing its outfit. And after this update implement in future, they just fix this issue for this outfit, so interaction with her leg will go normal with any outfit that she wear. Actually, this is major problem that I encounter when recording using Sai for my intro and outro video. Okay, next about item, they will increase drop rate for Dragon Scale Fossil from Tresira Ruin Grinding Zone, Cactum Bloodloaf Settlement, and Serka Nerkopolis Area, either for day or night time. And also they will fix surprise garmod appearance when in this tree grinding zone at Drikhan area to be adjust upward from the hard outbox that will appear with certain probability when this surprise garmod appear. And also maximum item dragon scale that you can get from this surprise garmod appearance by destroying this Drikhan outbox will be increased to become minimum 5 pieces and maximum you can get 10 pieces dragon scale fossil from this Drikhan outbox. Okay, next for seasonal content, they just announced exclusive content for seasonal server that they already announced before about mini server. Actually, this is continuous update that they already announced on previous Hedelball 2021 event. And for more detail for schedule future content, you can check on my Hedelball 2021 summary schedule future content update. And about this mini server, as they mentioned before, this server can be up for 24 hours. And this mini server only for seasonal content only, and only seasonal character can enter this mini server. But in this mini server, you only can choose one region, either for Calpeon mini server, Valencia mini server, and Kama Silvia mini server. But be notice if you already choose Valencia mini server, you cannot use another region. And player who have mini server privilege, it means seasonal character only, can invite another 14 player to join on his or her mini server. And this mini server will up for special skill every day for Korea server this is at 8 am every day and all permission after this mini server up will reset every day in this mini server you can do any activity like grinding or doing life skill and to get privilege to access this mini server they just plan to give it through an event in future and as you can see this is new interface that show about mini server with this key logo and once again, this mini server only can be accessible for seasonal character only, starting for this summer season. But for more detail how to get this mini server through an event, they will announce it in future. And about Dragon Scale Fossil Exchange, in future you can exchange 30 Dragon Fossil to become at phase of 4 plus 20, one piece. And also 350 Dragon Scale Fossil, you can exchange it to become at phase of 4 plus 40. And you can do these two exchanges with any NPC on any village, so you can exchange it anywhere, either at Velia, Heidel, Altinova, Valencia City, Grana, Duvenkrun, Odorexia, or Sand Grand Bazaar. Okay, next about cleansing gear. Actually, this is feature to downgrade your enchantment level from plus 15 to become plus 14. That usually you can do this cleansing gear with any NPC priest on every big city. And to more easy to access this cleansing gear feature, they will add this function at any blacksmith NPC at Velia, Heidel, Calpeon, Altinova, Valencia, Grana, Duvenkrun, and Odorexia. So you can do this cleansing activity directly from its 
blacksmith on every big city and you don't need to go to NPC priest again to reduce your equipment enchantment from plus 15 to become plus 14 to make some file stack. But sadly, I cannot show you on this global lab server because this feature still not available on global lab server. Okay, next about new crafting outfit for Psy class. As you can see on this screen, actually this is crafting outfit for Chief Dugre for different current city. And in future, you can craft this outfit. As you can see, in future, if you go to any costume mill, you can craft this Psy Drikhanes gown. That to craft this crafting outfit, you need this design Drake Han Gone Psy, Silk 3 pieces, Brilliant Opal 2 pieces, Ruby 7 pieces, and Blackstone Powder 50 pieces. And special for design for this Drake Han Gone Psy, you must do special quest from NPC Tami, her vendor at Duvenkron City, that located on this area. As you can see, this is NPC Tami. If you go to its quest, you will see this new quest. There are six quest line that you need to finish to get this crafting outfit design. And you can do this quest line only once per family. And you can starting this quest with any character who have level 40 or higher. And after you finish this family quest to get this design, you can purchase this design on NPC CMO. Actually, she is furniture dealer at Drakehan City that located around this area on map. And also you will get special title, Timey Friend, after finishing this quest line. Okay, next near Aquila A, group fish pirate just appear to an inhabited island. As you can see on screen, actually this is Slippery Skellywalk crew that related with Corsair class. And actually new member for this Slippery Skellywalk pirate still waiting for elite member who left to find their captain. Actually their captain is Corsair class. And per Abyss mention, they learn the shape of captain only from drawing that they draw long time ago. And most of this new member from this Slippery Skellywalk pirate didn't recognize for actual appearance for their captain. Actually I already searched this special island that just appeared that for this slippery scaly walks pirate member actually if you open your map and go to Oquila Island as you can see this is Oquila Island and this slippery scaly walks island around this area on map near Oquila Island as you can see this is the island near Oquila Island that already fulfilled for slippery scaly walks member and you can find this altar that have Corsair drawing that we know before since first leg for this Corsair class and you can interact with this altar to get some new knowledge and they just update knowledge for the Great Ocean 5 that you can get all this knowledge by interacting with slippery scaly walks NPC at this island actually I just explore some content for this slippery Skellywalks Island, but because this is still Korean language, hard to me to know more detail about this island story, but just wait until this update come near future on our live server and all dialogue from all NPC from this slippery Skellywalks Island already translated to become English. Okay, next about monster update. As I mentioned on my previous video about global lab update at 1 July 2021, that they just revamped new world boss loot mechanic. And in this video, they mention will change spawn location for no further world boss. And in this big global lab update, they already announced it. This spawn location near this Tyrant Hill area. Actually, as you can see on this screen, this is no further world boss spawn location. And you can find usually special hiding NPC around this area that I pointed with this cursor. And your character will spawn near this sand hill that you can find some hysteria monster around this area. So this respawn area when you die or using escape menu will not too far from World Boss Nover spawn location. And next update about Afuaru NPC that spawn on seasonal server. If you find this Afuaru NPC spawn on area with 3% party member that new for this summer season for Waragones, Basilis Lair, and Sult Guard area, they will improve drop from this Afuaru NPC that can be loot by 3 member party as long as this 3 member party hit this Afuaru at least one time. And also you can get this Frozen Tide Blackstone from this Afuaru loot to guarantee enhancement for your Tufala gear to pen enchantment level, either for main weapon, sub weapon, awakening weapon, and any kind of to Fala defense gear and also special for Afuaru that appear on seasonal server this Afuaru HP will reduce to become 50% compared with normal Afuaru that spawn at normal server and also in future when you encounter world boss if you have unstable connection for your internet and got reconnected to game during encounter any kind of world boss your contribution damage to that world boss will be maintained after reconnecting so you still can get any reward from this world boss but be noticed if this world boss does 
die while you still not log in, you will not able to get the reward. Okay, next about quest and knowledge. Actually, on this list, this is related that I mentioned before about Great Ocean 5 knowledge category that you can obtain from Slippery Skelly Walks Island. And also, after you complete this Great Ocean 5 knowledge category, you can get two new quests from NPC at this Slippery Skelly Walks Island. And another knowledge from Basement of Failure Trip, you can get this special knowledge from this Basement Failure Trip area to complete knowledge category for Failure Adventure Journal. And next update about Conquest and Not War. In future, skill command together to teleport any member to specific location that summoned by guild leader. In future, this skill command together will be available to use not only by guild leader itself, but guild advisor also can use this skill. So at least by this update, two person on guild can use this guild command together. So you don't need to depend on guild leader to use this skill command together in future. Okay, next about user interface. In future, you will see this button for detail status for your character here. In this new window, you can get any detail information for your current equipment. You can see its hidden AP and DP, either from item effect, crystal, and any additional attack power against monster, Kama Sylvian monster, demi human, and human, and also for monster damage reduction and damage reduction rate. So you can get more detail info from this new menu, and you can more easy to compare any gear that you can use for any character. And the good news, this menu will update instantly when you switch your gear, and any buff that you use, you can see its effect on this menu. As you can see, when I activate this buff, this menu just update instantly. And also, in future, if you open your map during Not War or Seeds War, you will see Not War progress from specific node from world map. And next, another quality of life, they just add search menu for your inventory. You can find any item using this search bar menu from your inventory. And also, for your warehouse, if you search any item, this new interface will point it for item that you search that have this keyword on its item name. You can find this menu on your inventory too to find any item that have keyword that you type on this search menu so you can find any item more easy from your inventory, warehouse, and inventory that related with your warehouse and also add per inventory, they also add this feature to find any item from your per inventory and also in future, they will add notification on bottom right of your screen that notify you using speech bubble for notify any item from your black spirit safe, dark rift boss, better equipment, new title, new challenge reward, any new knowledge, new skill point, any new discount coupon, and any new mail that just arrived on your mailbox. And also when you navigate to next character during character back equipment inspection, it mean if you press escape and go to disconnect, actually you can view any inventory from your ultimate alternate character and if you click next character if you have any character that cannot be accessed looks like new character for seasonal character that's still not playable they just update this feature to skip that character that not accessible yet okay that's all global lab update for 8 july 2021 update and special thanks to all my membership for direct support via patreon karya karsa or youtube membership and also my current member zekru dubia dude lee Cham, jimmy snack Doki, Transester, Aganim Scepter, Renegades X, Licky Cleaners, Aegis to Guild from NA Server, Carlsen, Homi, Preligrium as Gold Member, and also all my Silver and Bronze Member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly Channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video, depend on your support level. And we notice for some level, there are have some limit. So make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.